All right, so when I know went to Thailand and they had to go through Japan, Tokyo, so they ended up buying me this Marlboro cigarette. So I bought that. And he also got this one from the Philippines. So I bought this one from the United States. Well, it doesn't say it was well. Maybe on the plastic, but oh well, you gotta trust me that one I bought down the street here in the burbs of Cleveland, Ohio, USA, so the interesting thing is, I wanted to test them for radiation, the one from Japan, and I'll just say right away that they did test for radiation, but then I did some snooping, and I found out that the radiation most likely is not coming from fallout, but it's coming from the radioactive fertilizer that they use to grow it. Alright, here's the Philip Morris website who produces the Marlboros and here's the Marlboro red label box ingredients and there she is there's the culprit diammonium phosphate not only the other stuff you're smoking wax and chocolate and licorice and antifreeze and probably high fructose corn syrup yeah you are look at that sucrose yummy it's a well established but little known fact that commercially grown tobacco is contaminated with radiation the major source of this radiation is phosphate fertilizer the big tobacco companies all use chemical phosphate fertilizer which is high in radioactive metals year after year on the same soil. These metals build up in the soil, attach themselves to the resinous tobacco leaf, and ride tobacco trichomes in tobacco smoke, gathering in small hot spots in the small air passageways of the lungs. Tobacco is especially effective at absorbing radioactive elements from phosphate fertilizers and also from naturally occurring radiation in the soil, air, and water. To grow what the tobacco industry calls more flavorful tobacco, U.S. farmers use high phosphate fertilizers. The phosphate is taken from rock mineral apatite that is ground into powder, dissolved in acid, and further processed. Apatite rock also contains radium and the radioactive elements lead-210 and polonium-210. The radioactivity of the common fertilizer can be verified by a Geiger counter and an open sack of everyday 13, 13, 13 type of fertilizer. The U.S. Surgeon General C. Everett Koop stated on national television in 1990 that tobacco radiation is probably responsible for 90% of tobacco related cancer. Dr. R.T. Ravenholt, former director of World Health Surveys at the Centers for Disease Control, has stated that Americans are exposed to far more radiation from tobacco smoke than any other source. Researchers have induced cancer in animal test subjects that inhaled polonium-210, but were unable to cause cancer through the inhalation of any of the non-radioactive chemical carcinogens found in tobacco. The most potent non-radioactive chemical Benzopyrene exists in cigarettes in amounts sufficient to account for only 1% of cancer found in smokers. Publicly available internal memos of tobacco giant Philip Morris indicate that the Tobacco Corporation was well aware of radiation contamination in 1974 and that they had means to remove polonium from tobacco in 1980. 
by using ammonium phosphate as a fertilizer instead of calcium phosphate. One memo described switching to ammonium phosphate as a valid but expensive point. October 14th, 2013, and this is the background reading on the Japanese cigarettes, Marlboros, 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, 5,245 counts, 6 count, max data point, average data point is 0.87. So basically, I've got them stacked. See that? Just like that. I'm going to do a couple more readings. October 14, 2013, and this is the second test on the Japanese Marlboros. 100 minutes. 6,000 seconds, 4,731, 6 count max data point, and the average data point is 0 0.79. This time I have them set on end. October 14, 2013, and this is the 100 minute test on the rolled up cigarettes from Japan. 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, 4,990 counts. 7 is the max data point, and average data point is 0 0.83. And this was the rolled up cigarettes. October 14, 2013, and these are the Japanese Marlboros, stacked 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, 5,307 counts, 8 count high, average data point is 0.88 again. And that's how I had it stacked. October 15, 2013, and this is the reading on the Marlboro cigarettes from Philippines. 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, 5,065 counts, 7 count max data point, and point 84 is the average data point. This is how I got it tested. This is the Philippine Marlboros. Basically just got them put up against the back of the Geiger counter. Just like the ones from Japan. You can see them in that mirror image right there. October 15th, 2013. And this is the Philippine Marlboros on the edge. 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, 4,382 counts, 6 count high, average data point is 0 0.73. Got them October 15, 2013, and this is the Philippines Marlboros. 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, 5,276 counts, 7 count high, average data point is 0 0.88. Alright, and this is how I did it this way. Stacked up behind them.
October 16, 2013, and this is another reading on the Philippine cigarettes, 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, 5,211 counts, 7 max data point, average data point is 0.87. And this is how I got it set up there, just stacked up like the others. October 16th, 2013, and this is the test on the Marlboros from the USA. 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, 5,407 counts, 6 count high. Average data point is 0.90. This is how I put them this way. October 16th, 2013, and this is the American bought Marlboros. 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, 5,175 counts. 8 is the max data point. The average sheet of point is 0.86. And this time I have them st standing up. October 16th. 2013 and this is another test on the American Marlboros 100 minutes 6,001 seconds 4,566 counts 5 count high average data point is 0.76 And this is how I have this one. October 16th, 2013, and this is another test on the red Marlboro cigarettes from America. 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds. 5,433 counts, 10 max data point, and the average data point is 0 0.91. Basically, that's how I got it this time standing up. October 19th, 2013, and this is the background reading for the Marlboro cigarettes, and it's 100 minutes, 6,000 seconds, 3,055 total counts, 5 is the max data point, average data point, 0.51. So basically it's, basically it's sitting in the same spot as I did the test with the other cigarettes and I know it's a couple days later but I couldn't get around to it but it's typically at the same amount you would expect in the burbs of Cleveland Ohio USA around 0.50 so it was 0.51 
my conclusion on the Marlboro cigarettes is I never thought I'd be finding the radiation that was coming from the fertilizer. I thought it would be coming from some fallout from Fukushima. But uh, nonetheless, this is just another reason why smoking Marlboros, especially Marlboros, I don't know if they're all using this fertilizer, uh, you got to either quit or switch to American Spirit, which is an organic tobacco, and I doubt they'll be using that kind of fertilizer. So it's probably best not to smoke at all, but if you're going to, maybe check those guys out. In the future, I am going to test them and see if they, what kind of radiation level they, they test. But I got my Gamma spec Spectacular, and I'm going to save this uh, tobacco and test it so I could actually identify the isotopes. So that'll, it's going to take a little time to do, set that up, but that'll be uh, for the future. And other than that, I guess use some kind of water bong if you want to filter it. But uh, other than that, just don't smoke tobacco at all. It's a lot safer and healthier for you. Background, Marlboro cigarettes. Background, Marlboro cigarettes. Background, Marlboro cigarettes. Background, Marlboro cigarettes. Background, Marlboro cigarettes.